All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 15 for today, and in the last episode, we ended up in a 1v1, which is the one thing I wanted to avoid, my worst nightmare. Speaking of worst nightmare, season ends in two days, unfortunately, so we might have to run back into our placements and make it back to Grand Champion. Hopefully, we don't dive down too far, but I expected this to happen, and uh, we'll have to climb back up to Grand Champion 1. But we are about to make it Grand Champion 2 here. We're at Division 4, but of course, before we do that, we have to do the meme of the day, and today we have Down Cookie Suggestion of Parrot G. This one's gonna be a hard one. Probably the hardest of the series so far let's get right into it all right you know the deal by now let's get this going and see if we can make a funny photo here or a good photo i don't i don't know maybe i'm trying to be artistic today but we got the parrot in place here and i've got garrett g's head um i don't know what i'm gonna do with this i mean it's a parrot so like this part is all mouth i guess so do i really just i don't, I don't know what i'm gonna do here <laughs> this is not gonna work and uh we're just gonna have to bear with me here you know what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab the beak of the parrot and that way i can have that like overlay on top of whatever garrett is looking like just grab all that boom put that over top of garrett and i put garrett in place here like what what i mean technically it's like the side of his head he shouldn't see the other side <laughs> I need I need a, need a different photo. This is not working. All right, the closest thing I could find to a photo of Garrett from the side is this one. The only problem is is that he's very very uh, shadow heavy on the side here. But let's just grab what we can of him. I don't think we need all of his hair, so I'm just gonna grab like this and see if I can mess with the image a little bit. It's looking like <laughs> this hairstyle does. Uh, well, what am I supposed to do? It doesn't line up at all. I don't get it. <laughs> this, this is extremely cursed. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, now we grab this and we do, let's do like color overlay. We grab this red. All right, I want to make a copy of this and put it in the exact same spot. I think that looks pretty good. And on this one, I want to remove the, the color, but I want to erase everything but his eyes. This is so cursed. Where do I go from here? Let me just remove all of this to see what the parrot looks like. Oh, the eyes are creepy. Like all of this is white up to there. So maybe I should try doing that. I'm just gonna use this as a guide. I don't know what is happening, but we're gonna do our best. I'm gonna make this one white instead. So let's grab this guy. Let's grab that color right there. Boom. And then I'm going to erase as needed. I think this part is covering his eye, so I can't do this. I can't erase this part. Yeah, there's an eye there. So I gotta go back. I gotta leave it like that. What I could do is sort of grab the material of this and repeat it. Oh! I basically just put his, his eyes on there. I mean... I'm gonna go back because I feel like I'm losing more of Garrett G. You know, I think, that, I think we gotta end it here. <laughs> I've spent way too long on this and it's not going anywhere, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is Parrot G. There's a reason why I didn't want to do this one in the past and uh, that's definitely that's definitely why. This was hard to do, but uh, I, th I tried my best. I apologize. So because the season ends in two days, this is probably gonna be the last episode before we get into uh, the placements. So hopefully this episode we can bring ourselves up as far as possible and that way we can uh, put ourselves in a good position to uh, stay ahead there. For some reason, they didn't go for kickoff there, and I'm just gonna go for a free shot down the field. Um, it looks like he kind of did like a soft cheat, and then couldn't decide if he wanted to go or not. Um, but if you're gonna cheat up like that, you probably che should cheat up a little bit closer. Alright, decent 50 off to the side. I grab this back corner boost. The way it bounces right here, one of us can get this. Didn't does a really good turn though. He makes another touch. A good try. Once I see that he's got the flippy set, I gotta stay close. Good 50. Hopefully my teammate can get back there. Nice save from Comet. I'll wait for this touch. Once again, Din's gonna be there before I can be there. So now I'm gonna wait for my teammate once again because he was going forward. There we go. Pop it off the curve. That way it pops in the middle. And then I can try to stay with this to at least force him to make a touch. Teammate should have this for free. Well played. I've got 60 boost. Don't need to go anywhere except for like, you know, just behind the ball right here. Just wait. Decent 50, but it's gonna go right back to Yenny here. My teammate should have this. Nice touch. I'm watching the pass across in case he makes that touch. You see, I, I was ready to boost across for that touch, but he ended up missing. A comet has this. Now I can grab this mid boost and just stay in, in midfield here. Go for the shot. I'll go underneath this guy. The teammate went all the way back. Wait for him to challenge here. Really good shot. That should just be a nice play. It's a really good cutoff there. The second that you see a player's car, um, Yenny here, his, ca his car is upside down right here. 
um, there's a lot of time where you can go for the challenge and and catch them off guard because if they're upside down or their boost is not facing the direction that they need to be towards the the ball um, you can pounce really really quickly on the ball I'm just gonna wait in mid here comet see what he does so my teammate misses that's a little scary because I'm last man but you can see I, I'm just gonna force him to throw himself into the wall he leaves the first teammate there's no one in mid this touch was kind of bad actually because it lets it in turn um, that was both players committed I'm just gonna push up on this because he's waiting uh, waiting really uh, patiently but I get the demo teammate should challenge this it's okay if it, it, honestly like that touch like once he goes around the wall that's like what we want is to bait that out stay close here he's probably gonna try and demo me from behind or something go for the mid boost and now we can just back out let my teammate move, move forward so didn't get a good save but once again it's to space I see one pushing up on me so I'm just gonna boom it off the backboard because the other guy's backwards in net so it could cause a lot of issues see a comet goes for the touch well played so I see he's not getting it anymore so I'm just gonna boom it off the backboard for him and see if we can get a shot in mid here I'm gonna go for a shot not the strongest but once again you have an opportunity there once you boom off the backboard because they're really uncomfortable teammates up really early well played on the the challenge as well see what Din does here if he hits this away that's what we want he's, he's he is dribbling it and keeping it very close which is smart it's a decent touch for my teammate again he's last my teammate backflips though so I have to wait behind here I can go for this and cut this guy off I, I've been reading the comments carefully and just trying to watch like players who are in this rank and what they're used to and what the speed is like and I'm trying to mimic that as well as possible of course I keep talking about that um, but I, I still want to make sure I'm not playing too fast but also showing you like positions where you can go for like a really good shot um, like right there I see that I, I, I boom this once again over them and then it bounces perfectly off the corner he says I got it I think they left he's trying to say GG and uh yeah so like there's positions where you can just boom up off of the off the corner and wait for their reads obviously you don't want to do a boom every shot hey a fellow canadian by the way um you don't want to always boom the ball but when there's players that are being really aggressive and pushing up on you you can definitely find opportunities where they're not defending the backboard um you're gonna find that as you move up in the ranks in grand champ two three players are gonna be more readily available on that backboard and they're going to be uh more active on defense but so far we're finding uh some you know easy shots off the backboard some positions obviously I I place that really really well and that's not going to be always the case but still opportunities are going to be you know granted from your your decision making so the more opportunities you have the more chances you have to score and as you get better the more times you're going to you know secure those goals when you have that um spot to uh take scoring opportunities so just keep keep working at it obviously it takes a lot of uh, a lot of hours a lot of practice I'm, I'm actually nearing 14,000 hours on my main main account and with all these road to SSLs I'm probably sitting at around a couple hundred with those accounts too so it's a lot of practice a lot of grinding that's just how it is we got Angel and Young Bobby against Shadow and myself so let's get into it it's gonna bounce back into mid here so I'm gonna wait for Angel he ends up missing the boost so I know he's not doesn't have a lot but he went for the backboard I actually Almost didn't read his play because I wasn't I wasn't sure if he had more boost. I think he got that back corner. This is off the backboard. So to go for an air roll, that way it pops forward. You can really air roll your car in a position. Oh, this is gonna be dangerous. My teammate doesn't get it, but he does get it really well. And that's both of them too. They're really committed. I think I missed. Maybe? Yeah, but it bounced off the, the crossbar. Um that was a really big commitment from them. They were really trying to force the issue. And you can see overcommitments are really gonna be uh, a problem if you uh you know your one teammate's up making a play. I talked about this in the last episode too. Just you want to make sure that when realize what the play is and accept accept defeat on the play if it doesn't work. Good bump. It's a really good play. Once again, opponent uh, young Bobby here is uh, immediately barreling in for Angel. Angel did do a really good job of going back. They end up messing the touch up here. Go for a shot down the field. They're being very very aggressive. The second player is always challenging way too quickly. So they're not able to help each other. I'm going to back off here. See if my team wants to turn. Probably a cutoff here. And young Bobby's going to have this before me. So I'm just going to wait for my teammate to get behind me. I'll go for this now. It's a good play. Good shot. Yeah, so Shadow wasn't able to get back just enough time. I probably could have waited on the backboard a little longer. But they got a good shot. But there's just a lot of overcommitments from both teams here. So I'm just going to wait uh, in a good position to make sure I cover as much as I can. Oh, I couldn't really get around to that ball properly because my team was in the way, but that's okay. I'm just going to get behind him. Hopefully he turns on this. Good play. Now I have a free ball off this corner, so I can pop this up. Go for the mid boost and see if they, they panic. Just go for a shot top left, see what happens. They get a good save. This guy missed the corner boost too, so I get a, a free boost. 
Now, I could cut this off. It's a little dangerous, but that guy just got beat. So now we have space. Go for 50. Should spill into my teammate. Ends up just throwing it back to them. Not a great touch for my teammate right there either, but I'm just going to make uh, use of it. I'm going to actually leave this boost for my teammate so he needs full. That way I can move it forward. I have space to wait in mid here. The teammate doesn't need to make a touch here. He can make a touch across to pass here. That's a really good touch. I like that. Now I stay close to the ball. You can see how much this threatens them. Go for a flick. This is going to spill down, but it's not going to be a great spot for me to turn on it because I'm underneath the ball. I'm going to take the boost deal as the, as the advantage and not try to do too much. I, I was scared of a demo there, so I just went for uh, back uh, backwards there. Just because if he went for a demo on me, it would have been really bad. But my teammate should have this for free. It does boom it to the ceiling. It's a little dangerous if I don't go immediately. Because the pass was not the best. Because it's going to be a position where they can turn on it really fast. So I just go for an immediate touch. And now I've got another challenge here. They're kind of panicking. Young Bobby's going to probably grab the wall here and try to pop it forward. Good challenge. Once again, good opportunity for a shot. Angel saves it though. I could have went and grabbed that corner boost. I probably should have. I'm going to grab it now because they go for a touch. It goes across. This ball might, might bounce in a mid, but they're ready for it. And I'm missing. I'm just going to go for a challenge. Angel gets the boost, but it could be a shot down the field. Might be open. Really good shot. Really good placement. So once again, just not like I'm kind of just like tipping my or dipping my toes in the water there, not trying to do anything where I'm over committing completely. Like my flips on the side there are gonna let me recover a little bit faster. This ball's a little bit awkward. You can't let this bounce. The mistake, common mistake is to go for that corner boost. You've got to relinquish it. It's a bad kickoff, but if you go for that corner boost, they could just get an open shot. But my teammate makes a really uh open goal there. I'm not even sure what happened. Um, but like the reason why I went for that is because that guy was ready to pounce on that shot. And I'm last man because my teammate just went for a kickoff. You gotta remember also off kickoff, my teammate's gonna have no boost. So it's gonna be really difficult for him to recover anything or or um you know, make a a save after the fact or cover my next touch because I am in that last man position for so long. So I'm gonna wait here. I probably could have been on this ball, but Angel's gonna be there. That's a really good first touch. It's gonna be really tough to save, but I get the the, the shadow. Once I, speaking of shadow, my teammates <laughs> that's my teammate's name. Um in that situation like, he has a shot. I'm trying to watch where the direct shot is, and I'm trying to direct myself in pos in position of that of that that touch. So putting myself in a shadow position where the touch is going to be uh, going towards me in a direct line. That way, all I have to do is just focus on my double jump rather than uh, try to, you know, redirect at a very fast pace. Teammates, uh, teammate made a good, good challenge there, but Angel was also really ready for that. I'm going to try and get ready in the way for my teammate here. I'm trying to read that corner. Those corners are always really difficult to read. Just takes a lot of time to practice. Good demo from one player here. Or on one player. Now I'm going to touch that softly. That way it stays kind of close. I just go for a challenge. I'm not like putting myself in too risky of a situation. I actually luckily got bumped back. But this ball is going to bounce back in a mid here. So I'm just going to wait for Angel. Maybe a pass across. Now they threw the ball away. So I'm just going to jump into it to keep it close. Decent pass. I'm going to try and bump this guy if he goes for it. Good challenge for my teammate. This ball is going to spill to mid. I see young Bobby's going to make a touch, but now it goes right back to me. There's pre-jumping, which is fine. It's going to go right back to my teammate. It's going to pop over one. See if my teammate makes another touch. So it goes over here. This guy's following it, so we could pinch it. Oh my goodness. He did pinch it. I see I see where Angel is. I'm waiting for him first before going for the touch. Because um, as you can see, I don't need to go for a touch until I see him pushing up on that. Encroaching upon the, uh, the ball there. So it works out for me. Uh, if I just wait for it instead of just booming that to him. Because if I just hit that ball forward, all I'm going to do is just throw that ball to Angel, who's waiting, you know, ready with 100 boosts off that mid boost. So, a uh, pretty good second game. For obviously, the first game ended quite quickly, but I think that might be our GC2. It is. So, we're finally uh, only two ranks away, or I guess one rank away, technically. I, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Two ranks away. Um, obviously, we got lots of divisions to go, but we're getting really, really close and up there. Um, and that, honestly, that was a pretty uh, comfortable game with Shadow, who's the lowest MMR in the lobby, but he played really well. All right, we got the last game. We got Illogic uh, against O and For Real, or FR. Um, interesting. They, they make, together, they make the name Fro. No absolute way. Oh, no. I think he knows. I've been, I've been had. All right, good clear on the field. My teammate's trying to catch this, so I'm going to let him do it. I definitely could have as well, but as you can see, he doesn't see where I am. So for a, a challenge there, should be a logic down the field. He booms it up. I'm going to go for an immediate challenge. I'm, even if I don't get the touch, I'm going to bump him, and that way my teammate can go for it. And now I'm ready behind him. 
good challenge, but I don't like that my teammate just went for the back, the corner boost. I need him to try and uh, cover this ball in some way. There we go. I'm gonna put this to the corner, challenge him a little bit, grab a few boost pads. Yeah, I don't really need to go for, uh, for the back corner because I'm already um, grabbing some boost. And this ball is a little awkward. He might be going up for this, which is fine. I'll go for a challenge once again. Logic should be able to hopefully hit this forward. Now, I'm not comfortable going for that because my teammate's still trying to follow it. If he left the ball, it would have been more obvious that I can go for it. Okay, I'm just going to go for a 50. I'm not trying to do anything uh, super overcommitted. It's a good challenge. Could be my teammate here. Good try. Definitely panicked on that. I can go for this early off the corner. If my teammate touches it. Go for a challenge. And the second that this happens, I want to make sure I back up just in case something uh, goes wrong. I see that my teammate uh, made a challenge and I can sit on this ball. Okay. Not quite the, uh, the play. <laughs> Not quite the play that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't even, I can't even figure out what, <laughs> I can't even figure out what was going through that guy's, <laughs> that guy's head there. I had a free dribble and he just like absolutely barreled at it. All right. So we got some space here. I got some dribbles here. So I'm just gonna go for a flick over both their head, but they get a good save. Off the backboard here so my teammate can follow it. Good try. I'm honestly still like very, very confused. I get a good clear for my teammate. All right, this could be a good chance here. Go for a shot and there we go. Great pass off the corner. <laughs> Ooh. No comment. All right, I'm going for the uh, the 50 here. Teammate is a little bit all over the place, which is fine. Like he's very, very chasey, but we're just gonna we're just gonna play a smart, uh, solid defense here. This guy makes a touchdown to me, which is perfect. I actually have space on the ball. I'm gonna go for a flick, and this might make them shadow defend together. Let's give, give my uh, teammate a chance to shoot. Good save from them. So this guy's trying to go for this mid boost. I'm gonna take it, and now we have space on the back end here. He did bump me, but they're both very, very low. Let's just see what they do with this. All right, good try on the musty. I have space here in mid now. I'm gonna grab that boost and now my teammates should be able to get there. Good try. I see my teammates low, so I can't really pass it to him here. I'm just gonna pop it down to the corner. Oh man. Yeah, it's just, I mean, he's getting decent 50-50s, but he just keeps cutting on the ball when he doesn't need to. It's gonna be difficult if we don't go for it. Good save for my teammate. Good follow up as well. There's a bunch of positions where it's not really uh, not really wise of us to just turn on it when we could wait for them to pass it out to me. Or us, just as a, as a team. Like, we have lots of time where it's on, we're on the back end and we don't need to be challenging. It's going to be dangerous if I don't go for this immediately because they're both challenging. Once again, Logic's turning, which is fine. Go for a shot. And there we go. I mean, it's definitely just a, a situation where we need to make make use of the space we have and uh, make use of the touches my teammate's making. He wanted to probably turn on that ball, but I have a good opportunity there to just shoot that top bar. This is probably the least comfortable I've been, but we're trying to make use, like I said, of of what he is doing with his touches. We can't just, you know, chalk it up and say, hey, you know, I don't like how he's rotating. We have to use what he's giving us, and we're, we're doing that quite well in this game but sometimes like I said it doesn't work it doesn't end up working out but we are making good positions work I'm watch the bump here just pass it across my teammate ended up bailing I think he definitely had a position to go for a shot there didn't quite trust me off the backboard FR is gonna have this first he lets go of the ball really heavy there but should be my teammate still what a pinch all right so Odin grabbed that boost so I'm just trying to watch how much boost he's using Right, good save. I'm just gonna make him throw this across and then go for the pinch once it comes to the wall. What I'm trying to do there with my like little turns like this towards the ball is try to force him into a position where he might be uncomfortable. This guy's trying to bump me again too, so I'm just trying to avoid that. I'm gonna go for this now because he's jumping up for it immediately. I do have to relinquish possession. But you can see Logic tried to get to that ball. He's gonna pass it right back to FR, but I'm just gonna wait again. Wait for him to go for this. Super aggressive. Now I can go for a clear here and boom it out. And see if, oh my God, my throat, <laughs> my voice. Ugh. Okay, we're good. Just trying to see what they do here. There's both players trying to sit behind the ball. 
Go for a flick. Good challenge for my teammate. Good possession. We don't need to do anything too aggressive because, like I said, we're very like low seconds here. I'm just going to pop this up. This could be them, though. Get behind my teammate. Turns on this. Got some space to catch this and stay close. And I'm just going to try and pop this around this guy by hitting off the wall. But pretty good game there. Definitely the, uh, the sweatiest of the three games. And uh, the one goal they did score was off of a very interesting play. I, I, I'm sure the guy was trying to like pass that forward or something. It doesn't, it does make more sense that he was high ping, but pretty good match. Uh, he did ask if it was me, but I didn't reveal myself. You know, I, I guess you'll find out if he watches the series. But until next time, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. What a game.